Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ. Thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you're really gonna like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. If you're a member of a warehouse club, like a Sam's Club or a Costco or BJ's, then you know the benefits of shopping at these warehouse clubs where you can receive great prices by buying items in bulk. But did you know you can also save more on top of the savings that you're getting from these bulk items by using a cashback stacking strategy? Well, today I'm gonna to talk about my cashback stacking strategy when shopping at Sam's Club. Now, my cashback stacking strategy at Sam's Club is actually a five-level stack. And of course, if you've seen any of my previous cashback app videos or my most recent one where I talked about stacking cashback on your gas purchases, then you know that the first level of any cashback stacking strategy starts with a cashback credit card. And so of Sam's Club, there are two cards that I actually use there whenever I shop at Sam's Club. One is the City Double Cash card and the other is the Discover It card. Now with the City Double Cash card, you receive 2% cash back with any store that you make a purchase at. And so it is split between once you make the purchase, you receive 1% cash back. And then once you pay your credit card, once you pay your bill, you get another 1% cash back. So you're getting 2% at every store that you purchase using the City Double Cash card. Now the second card I use, I don't use it as often because there's only a certain time period where I receive more than 2% cash back when I shop at Sam's Club and that is the Discover It card. With the Discover It card, there's one quarter per year where you receive cash back when shopping at a warehouse club. And also you have to be careful because not all warehouse clubs accept all credit cards. So for example, I usually use my Costco credit card to shop at Costco. And with that card, I get 2% cash back whenever I shop at Costco. But if I shop anywhere else, I won't get as much cash back. It'll only be 1%. But not only that, if I were to use my Discover It card, well, I wouldn't be able to at Costco because Costco doesn't accept Discover cards. They only accept Visa cards. However, with Sam's Club, they accept Visa, American Express, Discover, and MasterCard. And so because they accept all of the different types of cards, I can use the Discover It during this specific quarter where you receive cash back by shopping at warehouse clubs. And there's a similar card to the Discover It card, which is the Chase Freedom, where they also have specific categories that you can receive cash back each quarter of the year. And then that card will get you 5% as well when you use it during that specific quarter. Now the second level for my cashback stacking strategy is the Dosh app. With the Dosh app, I currently receive 5% cash back whenever I shop at Sam's Club. And all you have to do with the Dosh app is connect the credit card that you're gonna use at Sam's Club. And then every time you go into Sam's Club and you use that specific card to purchase your items, the Dosh app will automatically recognize that. And you'll receive a notification within the app that you've received the 5% cash back for your purchase at Sam's Club. And now I don't know how long Dosh has partnered with Sam's Club to give that cash back or if the amount of cash back changes over time, but currently they give you 5% cash back for all of your purchases at Sam's Club. And also, as far as I can tell, this does work at all of the Sam's Clubs, at least all of the Sam's Clubs in my area. And so be sure to check the Dosh app before you actually go into Sam's Club to make sure that the one in your area is actually giving you cash back or giving you the same amount of cash back. And that's 5% for the in-store purchases. You can also receive 3% cash back if you were to use the Dosh app to then go to the Sam's Club website to make your purchases. So you would have to start your shopping experience with Sam's Club's website by going to the Dosh app first, and then they would send you to the Sam's Club website. That way you can actually make your purchases and the Dosh app will recognize your online purchases as well. But not only that, currently the Dosh app is also giving you a bonus cash back if you were to purchase a new membership when using the credit card that you have linked to the Dosh app. So when I signed up for a Sam's Club recently, I actually received a $10 cashback offer in the Dosh app when I purchased my new membership for Sam's Club and their membership is $45. So essentially, once you take away the cash back that I received, I only ended up paying $35 for my membership. And then my purchases that day and going forward are still receiving the 5% cash back as well. 
If you use my referral link to sign up for the Dosh app, you will receive a bonus as well. I believe it is a dollar at the moment. Just by linking your credit card to the Dosh app, if you use the same card that you use to sign up for the Dosh app to actually pay for your membership, your new membership with Sam's Club, then you will receive a bonus as well. Like I said, it was a $10 bonus when I signed up, but be sure to check the Dosh app at the time that you sign up to see what their offer is. And then you will also receive 5% cash back every time you shop at Sam's Club. So next, the third level for this cash back stacking strategy is the Bits of Stock app. So with the Bits of Stock app, you actually receive cash back that is then used to purchase stock. And so I call this a stock back app. And with the Bits of Stock app, currently you receive half a percent cash back that is then used to purchase stock of any of the companies that you select within their app. And within their app, you get to choose up to 15 different companies. And one of those companies that is available is Sam's Club. And so with Sam's Club, this will be automatic as long as you connect the same card that you're gonna use to make these purchases to the Bits of Stock app. Then every time you shop at Sam's Club, you will receive half a percent cash back, which is then used to purchase Walmart stock because Walmart owns Sam's Club. And so if you happen to shop at Sam's Club on a regular basis, if this is your main grocery shopping and any other shopping that you do at Sam's Club, because there's so many different things that you can buy from electronics to things at the pharmacy, to furniture, to many, many more different items other than grocery. And so this can really add up if Sam's Club is a store that you use on a regular basis. And so even if you only spend a thousand dollars throughout the year at Sam's Club, as long as you use the card that you have linked to the Bits of Stock app, that means that you will receive $5 worth of stock from Walmart every year. And $1,000 is very easy to spend at Walmart, especially if you use it as your main grocery shopping, or even if you just use it to buy electronics. You can easily buy a product, just one product from Sam's Club, that's over $1,000. And so make sure you connect the same credit card that you're using for your normal cash back that you also have linked to the Dosh app. Also link it to the Bits of Stock app. And now while half a percent is actually not a lot of cash back, remember that you are receiving stock as your cash back. And so you're slowly gaining stock into Walmart, which is actually a really solid company. They also pay a dividend and your half a percent that you're receiving in cash back will actually grow over time, just like Walmart stock is growing. So if Walmart stock were to go up 20% in a year, that means the stock that you earn as cash back within the Bits of Stock app will also go up by 20%. And even during this current stock market crash, Walmart stock is doing very well because you can go to Walmart to purchase just about anything. Walmart is considered an essential store because you can buy groceries, you can buy personal healthcare products. You can buy pills at the pharmacy or any other healthcare needs. And so during the stock market crash, their stock has actually done pretty well because people have been rushing to Walmart and Sam's Club in order to purchase tissue, food, or any other items that people felt they needed to hoard on or make sure that they had enough to survive in case there were multiple weeks that they had to be stuck within their homes. And so the fourth level of this cashback stacking strategy is the bumped app. Now the bumped app is just like bits of stock where you receive cash back and then that cash is used to purchase fractional shares of the company that you made your purchase at. Now the difference between the bumped app and bits of stock, if you haven't seen my previous videos talking about these apps, is that the bumped app, you have specific categories that you can choose from and then within each category, you can only choose one option. And so within this app, I actually have Sam's Club as an option as a warehouse store. Now within my specific app, because the bumped app is tech technically still in beta, the only warehouse store option I have is Sam's Club. So I can't choose between Sam's Club or Costco or BJ's. I can only choose Sam's Club. And so it is the option that I have for this specific category in the bumped app. And just like Bits of Stock app, you get half a percent cash back whenever you shop at Sam's Club. But the one main difference that I really like about the bumped app is that you can receive stock back in VTI which is the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund ETF. And so if you've seen some of my videos in the past where I talk about investing in index funds, or if you follow me on Instagram, every month I post an update of a Roth IRA that I created where the VTI ETF is one of the four ETFs that I invest in with my Roth IRA. And so if you don't already follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me now if you would like to keep up with that Roth IRA. I created it specifically for the Mobile Money Nation to show beginner investors how easy it is to just deposit 
50 or $100 per month and how over time that money can add up once you're investing it in the stock market versus putting it in your savings account. And so if you wanna keep up with that portfolio, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or on Facebook. And so once I saw that I could choose VTI as the option for my cash back, because with certain stores within the Bump app, you may only have the option to choose that specific company's stock as your stock back. But with some companies, you can either choose VTI or you can choose a specific company stock. And because I already invest in VTI, this is a free way for me to get more fractional shares of VTI as one of the index funds that I like to invest in. And if you don't already have a Roth IRA and you'd like to follow the Roth IRA that I've created for the Mobile Money Nation, I have a link in the description as well. I used M1 Finance to create the Roth IRA and I make automated deposits into this IRA to purchase the four ETFs that I have with that specific M1 Pi. And so be sure to use my referral link for M1 as well as using my bumped app referral so that you can get in line for this application that is still in beta. Now the fifth and final level of this cashback stacking strategy is using the Ibotta app. And so I recently did a review of the Ibotta app if you wanna check that out. But essentially with the Ibotta app, you can use specific grocery stores and retail stores. And within their app, you can select specific items to receive cashback for. And so unlike the previous three apps, the Dosh, Bits of Stock, and Bumped app, this is not always an automatic thing. With the Ibotta app, for most of the stores available, you have to use a receipt in order to upload within the Ibotta app to receive cashback. Not only that, you have to also select the specific items that you're gonna purchase and then select those items before you actually go into Sam's Club and make your purchases. And so this is the only manual option within the five levels of cashback that you can receive within this strategy. And I don't believe at the moment that Sam's Club does have an automated option because with the Publix app and with the Target app, I can actually connect my login for those specific apps to receive automated cash back whenever I shop at those stores. And so I did check with an Ibotta app, but I couldn't find that option for Sam's Club specifically. But maybe I just missed it because I don't shop at Sam's Club as often as I do some of the other stores that I can get cash back for within the Ibotta app. And so while it's not automated, if there are a lot of items that are available within the Ibotta app that you normally purchase at Sam's Club anyway, just make sure you select those items so that you can receive the cash back before you go into Sam's Club and make your purchase. And then once you've made your purchase, make sure to get a physical receipt and then upload that receipt to the Ibotta app in order to claim the cash back for the specific items that you purchase at Sam's Club. So you can use all of the five options I mentioned in this video use your cashback credit card, use the Dosh app, the Bits of Stock app, the Bumped app, and the Ibotta app. That way you can stack the amount of cashback that you're receiving whenever you make purchases at Sam's Club. And so once you consider just my cashback card with the City Double Cash, where I'm getting 2%, then 5% using the Dosh app, then a half percent with the Stockback apps, Bits of Stock, and Bumped app. And so at a minimum, every time I shop at Sam's Club, I'm getting a minimum of 8% cash back whenever I use my City Double Cash card. And then during the specific quarter where I get cash back using my Discover It card, I get an additional 3% because it's a 5% cash back card instead, which means that during that specific quarter, I'm getting at least 11% cash back whenever I shop at Sam's Club. And then once you combine the cash back that you can receive via the Ibotta app for specific items, then that percentage is increased because you're getting more cash back for those individual items. So at a minimum, you should be able to get over 8% cash back by shopping at Sam's Club by using this five level cash back stacking strategy. All right, thanks for watching this video where I talked about my cash back strategy. I also mentioned M1 Finance in this video. So if you don't already have an investment account, M1 Finance is a great app to use in order to automate your investing and also in order to invest in fractional shares. So use my referral link in the description below to get started investing today with M1 Finance. And of course, I will have all of the referral links for the cashback apps that I mentioned in this video, a referral link to the Discover It card as well. Just be sure to check the description for any goodies, any bonuses and referral links that I'll have related to this video. So what's your favorite cashback stacking strategy? Make sure you leave a comment below to let us know which apps you may use to receive cashback at Sam's Club or any other stores that you receive a good amount of cashback by using a cashback stacking strategy. If you're not already a member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.